Atul Gopal from Plug in India and welcome back to the Battery Guru series. We've got Abhay again with us and today Abhay is going to show us how does a battery actually get assembled. So Abhay ji, can you just take us through the stages of battery assembly over here? So the cells uh, come from the cell manufacturer in a very secured format uh, with the well packed into the trays and they are directly opened at this point. And all the cells are sorted out first so that the cells are segregated based on various characteristics uh, which are required to ensure that the cell which goes into the uh, assembly process in one pack, they are all uniform right at the source. So we do the complete cell uh, sorting in this area with various uh, parameters. And then the cells are stacked one above the other to the required voltage uh, uh, with all the polarities appropriately been sorted out and all these uh, gadgets been put in which basically are uh, our technology here. Once the cells are stacked uh, to the required numbers, uh, then uh, they are uh, secured properly and then the things are tightened so that they are well in place throughout the service life. Of the so battery what part. is this device? What does this do? This okay. this device ensures. See, it's a it's a, a pouch. It's very flimsy. So any operation we do has to be well calibrated. So when these cells are pressed together to hold them tightly, even the force which is applied is also calibrated as per requirement. And then we put cell interconnection PCB, uh, which uh, uh, so that the complete cell information is extracted and then this is ready to get connected to the BMS. Then the next component of the assembly is the BMS tray, what we call it a BMS chassis. It is a complete assembly which gets tested for all the performances which are required right from hardware to the uh, calibration of currents, voltages, all those temperatures all those things is done and the chassis is made ready to go into the pack. And then it is put onto this uh, assembly here, okay sorry here and then a complete pack is created out of it. A front cover is put so that the cell terminals are well secured or insulated uh, or well secured from the electrici electrocution perspective as well. Okay. So, uh, why is this of aluminium and this is made of plastic? Is there any rationale for that? Yeah, because they cover the power interconnections and so they have to be well insulated. So this is a plastic which is capable of absorbing the shocks from mechanical security as well as it will provide the necessary insulation during the service life. Once this battery pack is done, then each and every battery pack goes through a rigorous testing. Uh, we have got a 5 hours testing process, at least we are following it today. Uh, it's pretty rigorous and almost capturing all the aspects uh, so that uh, the product which goes outside is completely tested, is well traceable, all the reports are generated and it can be even traced right back up to the cell level. So basically it goes through end of line testing, a complete rigorous testing uh, which we will follow through in the next separate session where we will describe this in detail. And once the battery pack comes out of this testing, it is fully tested in all respects for all the aspects of it including the thermal management, including the cell capacity levels and then it is ready to go back. Even the entire traceability comes uh, into the software, into the test reports right up to the cell level and then it is ready to go out. So here we are at the end of the line, the batteries are now ready for dispatch and like Abhiji has promised, stay back to find out how exactly do batteries get tested. We will see that in the next video, Jaiye Gamat.